Bob McKenzie's latest draft rankings, Matt Faye Mitchkoff is ranked number five. Montreal Canadiens have the number five pick. But I don't think this is about waiting for a player. I think this is whether it's the right fit. And they'll have to determine that. And with a series of interviews coming up, you know, they'll get a feel for the player, for the situation. He's signed to a contract in the KHL. But you're going to have to wait for a player at number five. Connor Bedard will step in at number one. After that, whoever's waiting for Adam Fantilli may have to wait for him back at Michigan. Leo Carlson may play in the Swedish Elite League next year. It's not about somebody stepping right in and playing. It's whether a talent like Michkov is worth waiting for. So when teams do this in their own, you know, work rooms, they put the players in bands. And where does Michkov fit in? Is he firmly in that top five band? Or is he in a band that goes from four to seven? Or a band that goes from three to seven? And the distinction there will be, rather than taking a player at five that you aren't 100% sure about despite his talent level, you've got a player at six or seven, be it a Will Smith or someone like that, rated almost as high as Michkov for all the variety of reasons. You loved his interviews, you loved his production, you see an upside there. And so then you've got to determine whether the risk factor in Amichkov factors into this as well. So it's not just about waiting for the talent. It's about whether that talent is a fit. You know, you you saw in Washington them wait for Evgeny Kuznetsov. Well worth the wait. In Minnesota is Kirill Kaprizov. Obviously worth the wait. Big skill levels. And that could be a factor here. But does someone behind you in the draft, behind the number five pick in Montreal, really like him? Are they going to entice you to move up to that slot? So a lot of different factors for Kent Hughes and Jeff Gordon to weigh in on. But Michkov is a talent. We know that. Whether it's a fit in Montreal, still to be determined.